witnessing is sort of the uh, protest march for the Dyke March. The uh, Dyke March had uh, changed their route, and uh, a lot of people didn't know that. It took them by surprise. And uh, the people stood up and said, no, we want to walk by the Women's Building, which is an important landmark on this, on this walk, and a, a source of inspiration for a lot of people. Yeah, and how long has this been going down this block? Uh, since 1993, as best I know. And uh, this is the first year that I've witnessed anything like this, the sort of uh, defiant. <laughs> you think there's a little shenanigans going on here? You know, I, I think there are probably multiple things at play. Maybe who, the powers that be that are behind the decision will see that the people really want to have the women's building as a significant part of their march. It's symbolic, and I think it's important for them. What does pride mean to you? Uh, freedom to be me. Freedom to be yourself. And, uh, and, and not to feel uh, guilty, not to feel hesitation. When I moved here in 1999, uh, I, I, I figured out um, that I was proud of who I was. Um, because I saw it reflected in the people around me, I, it was a safe place and yeah. it, felt, it felt like home. So I'm gonna ask you the question of the day, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, what does pride mean to you? As a straight ally, all the little kids that I know are going to grow up in a supported environment and who they love is who they love and they're never going to know anything different. I know a lot of people in this neighborhood and probably in this house made that possible. I couldn't be prouder of our community. Living an authentic life and living, you know, being to, to everyone around you about who you are and not sort of keeping people in your life that maybe think that you have nothing to be proud of because of how queer you are. Being yourself, being able to walk the streets and not be afraid of being hurt or called names, uh, walking around, letting your freak flag fly, doing all the things that uh, make you happy and make you a whole person. San Francisco brings out the best in you. The supportive community, I think. Like, I have never lived anywhere where you have such amazing people, like, letting you be yourself and, and not only letting you but encouraging you no matter how crazy and weird it seems living an honest life raising our children or our friends children in an honest fashion and being true to yourself and wearing fabulous outfits pride feels good freedom is always good so freedom is pride I am so happy that a younger generation of uh, queers and gays will never live through the oppression that all of uh, all of us had to, and so right on, sisters and brothers. Meeting so many people celebrating their diversity and just enjoying being around people who are different than them is a great celebration and reminder of what it means to leave some really unhealthy environments and to find really healthy environments like being here. When the court case came down, we're seen as equals on a level across the country. Just another one of those great big steps forward, maybe not for me per se, but for my culture and hopefully getting laid a lot. This year means holding on to San Francisco. We're holding on to the Dyke March. We rerouted the march, and it feels, it feels fabulous and old school to be a part of this historical moment with the Supreme Court, and yet to also be holding on to radical queerness. Living who you are every single day. Beautiful love, my friends. Freedom to live my life on my own terms, free of shame and other people's judgment. Uh, the equality. Everyone just loving each other. It's like, oh my god, I can't even believe what I've witnessed in the last week. By a male-bodied individual who likes to fuck women would want to express female gender roles. That's harder to understand than merely sticking your cock in an ass. And so I would hope that we can use all of the uh, radical understanding that we had for decades towards who we're fucking and, and reappropriate that and use that to who we actually are and choose to be. Living to the fullest. <laughs> <laughs>